morning everybody and welcome to day two of isolation so it is currently five past ten isabel didn't need to be in college while or doesn't need to be in college while the last thing that i ever do is nicking my coffee isabel doesn't need to be in college while half past ten so jamie's just took her Scarlett said she was going to take her because she's not in college. She's going in later on this afternoon, uh, four o'clock-ish, three, three, half three, four o'clock, uh, to meet her friends and to do some revising. So she's going to go and pick her up. I have got, in the middle of my nose, at the bottom, a potch, a, a potch, a spot patch, because I have a spot. I had it on last night, I took it off this morning, it was yellow, popped it and put one on. Hopefully it fills out all the juices, basically. Anyway, today's agenda, I have some washing that I have to do. I don't think I'm going to be able to put it out online because it's overcast today. Very overcast. Uh, but I have just watered garden because i put some grass seed down on patches that the dogs had made through due due to uh peeing on the garden basically so i've chucked some grass seed on hopefully it works this is the second lot it's had on i am watering it twice a day morning and night uh my rhubarb's not good this year and the strawberries are really not good this year. They're, they're coming, but they're, they're a little bit naff, if that's the word. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to send Jamie to B&Q. Not today, but I'm going to send Jamie to B&Q and I'm going to get some compost and i'm gonna split the strawberries into different tubs and i might actually in fact i might buy some stuff for fences and i might put them on fences i don't know that might be an idea actually Mm, we'll, 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 we'll see about that because at the minute they're in a really 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 big tub and then the spares are still in little tubs so the little tubs needs to be put into big tubs and i also need more comp uh, more compost in the big tub because it has really 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 sunk down uh anyway so that's that's that for our side I can't see no new sprouts coming with new grass seed, so I don't know whether it'll take or not. If it doesn't take, I am going to have to look into something because I really, really, really don't know what else to do with the garden because it's just not, the grass seed is just not taking. Anyway, I have got my cup of coffee. I have got the washing to do. I was thinking then what I had to do. I have the washing to do. And then I have to hoover round and keep the house tidy. I have got to get my... Uh, or think about what I'm taking um, to hospital when I go to hospital next week. Uh, because it's a all dayer. So... I don't know whether to take some crackers, get some snacks, get some like uh, cheese and cut it into like square, thinly square, so I can have it on my crackers. Do I make some tuna mayo uh, to have with my crackers? I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. And then when I come home, um. It's then up to it's then up to everybody to knuckle around me for a for a few days because by the sounds of it these infusions make you really really tired for a couple of days, so potentially it will be 
like not not moving days basically i am a little bit nervous for them but it's just something new so it's 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 the fact that i'm having something new and i'm having it pumped in straight into my body through my veins uh it's it's that that's scaring me a little bit and the fact that i'm having half a dose and it's going to take five hours for the half a dose to go through unless they speed it up and i'm tolerating it uh but i am just a little bit nervous about it but it will be what it'll be uh hopefully i don't pick a cold up or anything uh i will be going to my room when Isabel comes home from college she's on she'll be home about three o'clock so I will be going upstairs out of way of everybody until everybody gets washed down and things like that because you know it's okay I'm Jamie taking them to college but you know when they're coming home I'm a bit like hmm I'll go upstairs to bed, thank you, please. I'll keep out of way of everybody. But anyway, there's a shocking mess. It's stuck up all over. I want to cut it off, but Scarlet won't let me. So I'm wanting it cut off, but Scarlet won't let me cut it off. But anyway, it's stuck up like, I don't know what. I really don't know. I have just got to grim and bear it. I, I should realistically just put a cap on and walk around like a like a chav anyway we'll see so i'm gonna go i'm gonna drink my cup of coffee and i'm gonna watch uh oh shit there's no cup there there's no cup there I'm gonna have to go and empty it, wash it. Um, let's go through all appliances slow cooker, flat top cooker, George Foreman before we get to coffee machine. Anyway, I'm watching someone in Alaska that has gone to Costco for the monthly shop, so that's what I'm gonna watch. So I've come upstairs because Jamie's doing something downstairs. And I thought I would have a bagel with two fried eggs and some sriracha on for my, basically it's brunch. So I'm upstairs. I am going to sit and watch telly. I taped something last night on, I don't know if it were on channel four or channel five. And it's for her sins. And I think it's, a documentary it's not a documentary it's in parts so i'm gonna sit and watch that eat my egg and toast well bagel an egg and sriracha and i'll come back and let you know what it's about so that is isabel back from college and she has just gone with scarlet to Asda to pick some stuff up that they wanted so I've gave them a list of few bits that I needed uh, which they've gone and got <clears throat> I have watched For Her Sins it's a four parter so there's another part on tonight maybe tomorrow maybe day after and then that's done uh, very good uh, yeah it's a very very catchy like something happened in the past that's now coming forward type of thing if that's the thing that you can think of it is uh, but I am going to sit and I'm going to watch Mission Impossible uh, 1996 so 26 years ago this is the first one that were ever out basically 26 years ago so I'm going to sit and I'm going to watch this and then I'm going to watch the next and then I'm going to watch the next in and then the next in potentially because what else can i do and then i might start on harry potter <clears throat> so it is later on in the day a lot later on actually 
it is tea time well late tea time and i am going to finish this vlog there isn't nothing to uh show or do today tomorrow will be different because in the morning scarlett and isabel have an exam so things will be done while they're at their exam and then after the the exam and they're home i will be back upstairs so basically isabel finished early she went in she started at half past 10 but she will finish by half past 12. so i had to remove myself from the area where sh she is <coughs> uh, so yeah so basically just another boring day I've done nothing because I haven't had time to be able to do anything uh, Jamie's doing the downstairs and tomorrow I will be doing some washing while they're in college doing their exams um, so yeah so there's no realistically to uh, talk about in this isolation but I will just say this I have been watching you know Ingham's and uh, why has he made an outside area for cooking in the boat, uh, big van has he actually drilled into the back of the back boat to put a sliding thing in so they can cook why is he messing about with a, va with a big van that's £90,000 I don't understand why he wants to stand and drill holes into a brand new RV big RV a big motorhome I don't I don't get it because he's basically put it where the step is to step in I don't I don't get it I don't get why he wants to make a outside cooking area when inside is a big enough area to be able to cook and everything i just don't get it i don't get his logic in damaging a ninety thousand pound rv you know people people wait a lifetime to be able to afford something like that and he's just buying things right left and centre and he's just adding stuff to potentially make the life better so he's not cooking inside so it doesn't stink is that is that the case but i don't i, I just don't get it you've you've bought yourself an outside cooker that cooks on gas but yet you've drilled into the back of a boat and you're making a slide out cooking area. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, this is about my isolation. I just watched it the other day, other, when it came on the other day, and I was like, why would he do that? That's just craziness. You're damaging. Think, you knackered your van up. Your van's not roadworthy. The person that's bought your van, I bet he's kicking himself inside because, you know, you've cut that many holes in the van. You've actually made it unsafe. But anyway, that that's just my opinion on, on stuff. But I'm, I'm, I'm isolating. So, you know, roll on the... Uh, let's, let's hope it's a good video tonight because the other day... They were telling you a story, but they weren't going to tell you the story because it's a family channel. You know, she went to hospital for a 21 weeks checkup and a 21 a 20 week scan. She had to have a small procedure done, but she's not going to tell you procedure because it's a family channel. But she was going to tell you procedure, but she didn't tell you procedure. If you know what I mean. That's like me turning around and going. I'm going to hospital. I'm going for a small procedure doing, but I'm not going to tell you it's small procedure. But I am definitely going for a small procedure doing. But you know. I'm not going to tell you because it's a family channel. If you're going to start a story, tell the whole story and don't just clip away at it and go, 
Oh, we, it's been hours. We've been hours, haven't we? Oh, God, we've been hours. And now let's go off on a little holiday in this caravan. But yet you've just had a small procedure done. Anyway. I hope everybody has had a great day. I hope people are enjoying the weather if they've got the sun. We're a bit of overcast today. But anyway, I am going to finish this vlog. Nothing to report. Day two over with. I'm contemplating whether or not I uh, I get Scarlet to colour my hair for this greyness because it's seeable now. Seeable? Can you see, you can see the grey? Uh, so I don't know whether to what you call it. I just don't know what to do with it. It's, it's just sticking up everywhere. It just needs to up and grow. So we will see. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn your post notifications on, hit your bell, come back for another day of isolation with me, the life of Mrs. R. And on that note, take care, be safe and goodbye.